Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here back in the dreams of a white Russian victory in which we're playing the Kingdom of Ukraine. Uh, last time we beat the Russians, Slava Ukraini, and yeah, we got to go to war with Poland, which I just did, because Germany's gone to war with so many people, and like someone commented yesterday, at least in the last video, Japan screwed up everything. I did not want to go to war with Poland at all, or I am Poland, oh I'm not Poland, but I don't want to go to war with the Allies. But Japan decided to get Russia involved and go to war go to war with them, which screwed us all up. But regardless, we're here, and we've got to kick some Polish booty, or we're all going to die. So, that's pretty much it. So, okay, guys. Please. Please. Uh, let's... There we go, good. Please move in. Kill them all off. We have to go, go, go. And I'll be honest, this is like my fourth attempt doing this, because Poland seems to be very overpowered somehow. Like, I don't know why. I mean, our divisions aren't great. Most of them are using just infantry divisions with infantry, infantry battalions, but that's, that's all we can afford. But right now we have opened new military academies. Opening new military academies that service as the training of our younger officers will be paramount in implementing our new doctrine, as these officers will be the ones spearheading the development and use of it. It is time for the next generation to begin taking an ever-increasing amount of responsibility for the state of the army. Good, we won there. Keep going. You, you're you not allowed to lose. You're going to win right here. We ha we can't wait. Now, a lot of you have been called in, but we can't really do anything about them. It doesn't matter. E either we d win... Or we lose, like the entire campaign, because if Germany dies, it's all over. It's literally all over. Because Russia, not really Japan, but Russia just had to join the Allies. Of all things, they had to join the Allies. Okay, we need more command power. I We just force the attack. I want to force attack so badly right now, but there's nothing we can do. Poland's even pushing into Germany a little bit, which is not ideal. Come on, guys, go, 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 go. Do not give them... Do, stop. You, ugh, I'm sorry I can't speak right now, but... You can't stop. You literally just cannot stop. You have to go. Either you run into the enemy and kill them, or you die. Like, that's... We can't wait. Well, let's grab some more military police, because we have a lot of, uh... Big old deficit of armored cars, which is not ideal. And I want to make sure that we get enough up here, and then enough artillery, so we can make our divisions a little bit stronger, too. Actually, by a little bit, I mean very much stronger. I don't mind building more things, but... We're going to need some of, uh... Some of this. And a little bit of, uh... That. And Homel. Come on, come on, come on. we got plenty of army XP. Now, the Latvians, they're going to be coming out like crazy. Which is fine. Whatever. But, hmm. Um, cool. Good luck with that. Yes, I will take your divisions if we can. Thank you. One right there. And make them under this guy, because he's got some naval benefits. And I'm going to put you guys right there. And we got to take out Riga. But these guys, come on, let's go, go, go. They're doing a pretty good job so far, I'm not going to lie. Le View, right there. But we're doing a okay job. We have around a couple of divisions, that's nice. Help them out, help them out, help them out. Kill every single one of these enemies, we can't wait. There is zero waiting here. Nice, very nice. Andri, do you have anything for us? Scavenger? We're going to grab Scavenger because we could honestly probably use it. Let's be real here. we got to take as much equipment away from our enemies as possible. So it doesn't look like we get it anywhere else. That's okay. Anything here? Warp propaganda looks pretty good. Um, oh, we can rename Volin to Volin Volinia. Roman runs to Rivna. The view, well, the Vo becomes the view. Stanislav becomes Stanislav. Stanislaviv. Bukovina becomes, well, Bukovina. Uh, Bessarabi becomes Bessarabie. Chisinau becomes Kishnig. If, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm butchering all these names. Southern Bessarabia, Budzhak, and Setatia, Setati, Alba is renamed Belhorod Nitzdrovsky. Oh, we can integrate Polish territory? Yes, please, that'd be awesome. That'd be really good if we can core all this territory. Keep going, we're doing a great job. Even the Germans are now actually able to push in as well. Uh, Germany, what's going on? What's going on? How did, did it... What, how did you... Did, were they seriously just busting through the Maginot line? Because they even went down here against Italy. Uh, I mean, the Greeks are still doing pretty well. They invaded Turkey, too, but... Okay, Germany. Okay, Germany. Just because I go to war with the Poles doesn't mean that you can just go go ham now. But go keep going ham. Please keep going ham. Oh, that would be so nice if you guys can just kill them all off. Please, 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 please. Even down here... Oh. Turkey's invading through this area? Okay, cool. G good luck, guys. Good luck. Uh, I really do mean that. Um, the Latvians are slowly coming out of the woodwork. That's fine. 
Oh, we're beating some Brits up here too. That's good, good, good. Because they're evil in this universe because they went to war with me. Basically, yeah, actually they did. They joined the Russian war, which they declared war on me. So basically the allies are evil in this timeline. Makes sense. It's 41 still. Let's see. Whose techno companies could be pretty nice. Uh, let's grab some more fuel maybe. Nah, I think we can wait. Let's grab some more radar. Uh, actually, you know what? Nuclear power. Why not? Very good. Oh, man. Come on. There goes British Malaya. That's nice. Good job, Japan. Keep it up, Japan. They're not fighting China. They completely avoided China in this timeline. Oh, Germany's... Somehow they were able to push in, but... And now they're stopped, but... You know, whatever. That's fine with me. Open new military academy is good. Heavy tanks. Oh, we don't need that. We can do armored core. Now that the Cossacks are out of the way, we can truly begin modernizing the equipment our army uses. One of the most important changes we should make is replacing our cavalry designs, or divisions, with armored divisions. Mechanized warfare is the future. We shall recognize this, as well as any other great powers. You're not stopping. I, I do not give you the order to stop. Like, it's just... You gotta be like a trucker. And we're doing a really good job. I mean, Germany... I don't know. They must have committed more of their divisions to over here, because they're even beating up on this side of Italy, which is kind of nice. Even though they are losing in the Balkans, so... It's sort of a mixed bag, only it's giving up slowly more territory to the Greeks and Bulgarians, but you know what? If they can punch through the Maginot line by going nuts and end up losing the Balkans, so be it. I'll take the Balkans. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the Balkans. You can have you can have France. Yeah, have, take France. Nice. Good. Help them out, help them out. Oh, you know what? Get to Warsaw. Go, 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 go. There is no stopping here. There's no stop on this crazy train, on this crazy train at all. We almost got them. Improved airplane catapults, nice. Very good. Hmm. Just in case, this might be good to do. Smoke generators for more retreat chance. Ooh, can we do this? Could use more manpower eventually. Close economy, we've got to be fascists or communists? I don't know about that, but okay, whatever. Speed, reliability, reliability, soft attack. We'll probably want to go with speed. Let's get some speed going. Yeah, let's do that, actually. We still need this? Eh, kind of. Kind of. Hey, they actually invaded Sweden. Great job. Great job, Sweden. Uh, no one's invading Sweden up there. I'm, I do plan on getting invaded by the Allies sometime because we have all this Russian territory, which is really proper Ukrainian territory now, but whatever. Uh, come on. Seriously. Just kill them off. Take Warsaw. We have to have it now. Capitulate them. Capitulate them. Because even though Germany was doing well earlier, that doesn't mean anything if they die later on. Fighter detection? Good, good, good. Oh, regardless of map, hope you're having a good day. I'm doing okay myself, just a little, just slightly stressed out from this, just because I've done this a few times already, man. It, it, it gets annoying after you try it four times. Okay, so Romania is doing okay-ish against the Germans, but we come down here and we start pushing the heck out of them. Oh, we lost Odessa, that's not good. God, I hate the Brits, come on. Really, Brits? Really? Go, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Someone, take Danzig, for the love of God, take Danzig. Board observers, and let's hope they work it out peacefully. Hungry Kim's lordship over Slovakia. And by at least we're almost done with our land doctrine with advanced fire bases next. Very good. Go, 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 go. German right caves to hunt. Okay, then. Well, I mean, are they even in the war? They're not. Um, okay, well, whatever. Seriously, look how weak they are. And they still don't give up. Force the attack. Kill every single one of them. Look at that. They're so weak. Germans are doing great. We're smashing the crap out of the Poles. I mean, come on. How have they not given up yet? Oh, Danzig's been cut off. Go, 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 Inspector Gadget. At least we have Sweden filling with us. This is disgusting. Germany. Like, you... With me going to war, must have distracted the Poles with their divisions. And the Germans must have sent a bunch of divisions to France and Italy to take these guys out, so... Because the French, they also have... I'm sure they have Greek soldiers and... Oh, okay then. Uh, maybe some Romanians, but especially the British soldiers, so. If they want to get killed, because that's happened to me before, too. When, uh, like, the, uh, the enemies, it doesn't have to be the allies, but the enemies just, like, completely abandon the line. It makes no sense. Uh, for Germany, I will give them, like, Memel, we can have Danzig, Poznan, uh, this, this, this. How does that look? Kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Uh, we can have Plock as well. This is still pretty goddamn ugly. We'll take the rest of this. As long as they don't go to war with me. That's what matters. I'm surprised. Actually, no. It, they were in their own faction. So that's kind of okay. Alright. Now that's looking a wee bit better. But if that's the case... 
we have to kill all these enemy divisions off, and then we're gonna go to war with Estonia as well. But we'll probably first take out Romania. Come on, come on, take, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. They don't deserve life. At least we got Poland done pretty quickly. Uh, do we got cores on this? No, we do not, which kind of sucks. We got cores on some of this area. Cool. Expand aluminum planet starts in. That's cool. Come on, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Do not let them escape. You will not let them escape. Armored core, good. Let's see, let's come over here. Infantry equipment sounds pretty good to me. Ensuring that our army is equipped with modern and effective equipment must be made a priority. Only by rapidly modernizing our army do we have any chance of continued independence. Pretty much. Come on, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, get rid of them. Nice. They really thought they had a chance over here, huh? Good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll finish those guys up there, but now we gotta focus our entire army down here. Cool. Now with Poland gone, I don't think the French will be able to stand up. Uh, the Italians are not looking great, but they have reinvaded, so... We'll see what happens. Go, go, go. Uh, actually, don't even go yet. Get away first. Now Romania's gonna fall. The Balkans will be secure. Germany should do okay. What are, uh, what are the Germans up to? Unknown focus. Well, they kinda like us. They kinda do. Please, for the love of God, don't go to war with me, though. Please don't go to war. Okay, France, yeah! With us going to war with the Poles, that gave us, or gave Germany the, the advantage that they needed to uh, do really well. Honestly, this is really disgusting. Holy crap. Hmm. <laughs> that is really disgusting. Uh, Ship-wise, how are we doing? Trying to still sink some things. Getting hit by a lot of mines, probably. Uh, let's see. Heavy ship. Hey, are we making these yet? We're not. Because I wanted to improve these. That's not bad. No better radar yet. Any better anti-air? No. Level 3 battle cruiser, which is fine. Level 3 engine, that's better to do. Dual purpose is good as well, because we got enough naval XP. We got any actually have some better guns, finally. Lower your speed just by a wee bit. Even more attack. That's not bad. Boom. Early ship hull. Boom. Let's go to that. Convoys, goodbye. Nice. Keep making some more of those guys. These guys are out of date. Early ship hull. I think you're out of date as well. It's fine. Let's do that. And then we'll do... This is a 1940... Or 1936 cruiser. Let's grab a 1940s cruiser. Some of this. Some of that. Some of this. Level 3 armor would be delightful. Ah, uh, light cruiser batteries. Let's grab some more light cruiser batteries as well. Anti-air, we can't really do much about that. Level 2 for this. And then grab some anti-air right there, because we like anti-air on our ships. This I do. Fire control zero. Good enough. Massive improvements here. Good. And we'll come to... Ooh, actually, let's do Sevastopol. That's fine. A oh, Krim. Krim? Something like that. Actually, we're trapped. Actually, we're not trapped here because Turkey is our ally, so that is good. We still might need some more convoys in the future, but that's okay. We found some Romanian things over here. Interesting, interesting. All right, we're getting our soldiers ready to go. And Germany is doing okay. Oh, oh holy crap. They already have the Spanish Empire out. Nice. Nice. You guys, however, can probably do this. There you go. You guys come north while the infantry comes south. Go ahead. Push the hell out of them. The Brits look pretty darn bad. Man, I hate to be the British right now. Oof. Alright, well, if you don't have any enough stockpile of supplies, because I'm sure they have enough manpower, uh, die then. Increase conscription, expand aluminum planet. Sorry, it's in. We don't really need to do that yet. We need more rubber, of course. Happy 1942. Also, by the way, my friends, happy 1942. Over here, we could probably throw some over here, maybe something like that. Definitely over there, too. We're going to need to make some divisions to help garrison our uh, ports. Oh, good. More divisions. Nice. It's 42, so let's grab some more research speed. Yes, advanced competing machine would be nice. Good, 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 good. All right, good. Oh, look at the... They have the, no supplies. I mean, that's a pretty good division, but they must have, like, no supplies. Nice. Oh, we got the Raj here. Or India. Domin Not the Raj, but the Dominion of India. 
And Japan is not going to war with Japan. China at all, which is a little strange, but you know what? Whatever. Ooh, another light tank. Yes, please. Don't mind if we do. You guys are already fighting them, so it doesn't even matter if we do this. So there you go. Cool. And we're out of, of course, these things. 6,600. Holy crud. Keep making this stuff. That's good. That's good. Um, Let me see. We have enough support equipment. So, do we actually have on you guys, suppression divisions, take, uh, that's fine, become cavalry instead, and put on military police, there you go. That should be good enough. Uh, special forces, troop transports, let's do that one. So, ensuring that our army is equipped with modern rifles and more modern and effective equipment must be made a priority. Only by rapidly modernizing our army do we have any chance of continued independence, which would be a good thing. So, we're not worried about that. Uh, yeah, you guys can come in. We might as well take out Norway as well, just because we want to make sure that no one can really invade us. And they probably will. Romania's not looking good. Hopefully they can smash into Bulgaria. They were doing pretty well against the Germans too, but I guess the Germans have bigger fish to fry down here. You know, the Germans have not gone to war with the Benelux yet, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what, definitely see what happens. Oh, okay, come on. Come on. Good. And we got to help out the Turks too, probably. Because, oh, actually, they're doing really well. Look at that. They're all the way down here. Okay, yeah. And they still got some Greeks over here, which we got to take care of. But by us doing this, the Greeks... Oh, look, look how much damage we're doing. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. Uh, let's go grab some field hospitals so we could probably really use that. Because we have a quarter million manpower. Not ideal. Keep going, guys. Can we do force attack? I want you to force attack. I want you to go now. No, 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 no. Cool. Uh, move a little bit faster if we can, but we don't have enough command power for that. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, okay. So why is there only Brits here? What happened to the Romanian army? There's some divisions up here. But it's only, like, the British and our allies. Um, Britain? What's going on? Oh, hello. I forgot about this. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. How's everyone doing around here? We've got access. It's weird. Let's see, the Southwest Pacific Initiative. Didn't America join that? Yeah. Are they fighting the out? Wilkie? Hello, Wilkie. Oh, do we actually see something? Nice. We actually sent some British convoys. Cool. Okay, so the FDR is not leader of America. And we have Wilkie. Hey, Romania's gone. Good. In which we shall integrate Romanian territory immediately. We gain quarters on all required states. Beautiful. Keep going, guys. And there goes ah Estonia. Uh, we don't. We'll just take that for ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. Uh, I appreciate your soldiers, guys. I really do. Bye bye for now. Bye bye and cheer for now. Oh, do we have another slot? Yes, we do. Great. Get some more rubber. Get, oh, we're actually doing well in rubber. Oh, we have enough steel as well. Awesome. All right. So at this point, we've really got to make a, a navy. Ooh. Kievan the Rus unified. So we become known as the Kievan the Rus. Legacy of the Kievan Rus, more population, and attacking defensive core territory. Nice. We've completed all integration decisions. Hey, look at that. Nice. I'm not Eastern European or European Eastern. Eastern European. Yeah. That's really nice, though. Really, really awesome. I might open up a new front and go to war with Afghanistan so we can break down here. I might just go to war with China, too, so Japan doesn't never have to worry about them, but. We'll see what happens. Uh, send out military attaches, rocketry designs. Our R&D has reached such a large capacity that we are making breakthroughs in brand new research. We will soon be able to construct weapons that can hit our enemies from miles away. Who knows what other exciting in inventions we can come up with. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So we're, we're, when we're done with all of this stuff, the fall of Hong Kong is a significant development. We're going to build up roads, but we're also going to build some more dockyards. Because while I love fuel, we're going to need some dockyards. You know what, go ahead and get some of these started. 50% new Krim. Are we actually sinking convoys? Oh, it's so nice. How did, they, how did the British get convoys here? My question. All right, get rid of them. Nice, good. Come on, there's only two light cruisers, but Andre, you can do it. Go, 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 go. How much artillery do we need? Not much at all, nice. I'm going to switch all of you guys to 7-2s. There you go. Save some on manpower. Look at that, we got like 50,000 more. Artillery, not bad. Switch you guys around to completely using 7-2s. I'll switch you guys all to 7-2s. Did you lose a division? He might have. 
And now we've lost a thousand manpower, Ooh, or a thousand artillery pieces. I mean, but we almost have we have almost a million, and we are mobilizing more, so that also makes sense. Uh, let's see, integration, war bonds. We, let's do war bonds. We need as many factories right now as possible, and dockyards. So this is going to be costing us quite a bit, but whatever. Kill them off. Kill them off. Cool, 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 and nice. Get rid of these guys. Get out of here. 1.6 uh, political power day, not bad. Ooh, I'm so glad we went to the war with Poland, because Germany, oh my goodness. If Germany would have fallen, it would have been the end of us. And is Hungary and Slovakia in the X? No, they're still in Italy's faction. Okay. Why not? Does anyone else have upgrades here? No? Okay. Did you have the upgrade, or did you? Yeah, you did. There you go. Cool, there goes Bulgaria. Disperse. Fighting is good. We need a bigger airbase, too. Operational destruction. Yes, please. Yes, please. German interests are scanned. Ooh. Please don't go to war with Sweden. Please don't go to war with Sweden. Denmark. I'm fine. They can have Denmark. I don't care. You know, just to get rid of this, let's just find an aluminum plant there. That'll be fine with me. Still building up some dockyards, because we're going to need to build a massive navy. Oh, my goodness. Of course, Germany declared war on them. Of course, why not? Because, why not? Like the Pokemon, why not? Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Are we at war with Germany now? Wait, when do we go to war with Germany? What? Oh, well, crap. Well, alright, well, this is not good. This is really not good. If, that, if that's the case, here we go. This has been, this has been a campaign. I'll be honest, this has been one heck of a campaign. I need you guys to get back up north, because uh, I'm going to leave these up to the allies to take care of. Because just go ahead and leave for now. Germany, wh why did you go to war with me? Why? What did I do? Oh, this is not good. I haven't called someone to the faction. China. Well, hold up. China. Hmm. China's not bad to have under us. But let's go ahead and do some Ukrainian Air Force. The Ukrainian Air Force is a relatively new organization that is subservient to the Ukrainian na Army, outfitted with only a small number, number of outdated fighters purchased from Russia. But the British and Germans are to be believed. Their air power will only become more important over the next decade, so it may behoove us to invest more into our air force. Those who control the skies will control the ground beneath us. You know what? Are you fighting Japan? Oh, crap. Don't tell me I'm fighting, J I'm fighting Japan, too. Uh, yes. All right, well, China's in the faction. I'm calling them in. At least this way they can deal with the Japanese then. That opens up a whole new front for them then. Oh, they're moving in. So, the Far East, even though it's not under our control completely right now, that's okay. Come on, move. you got to move your butts. I'm leaving this open for enemies to deal with. Let the Allies and Axis kill each other because Germany hates us. And you, well, because of that, I hate Germany. They don't take over this territory, which is not cord. Go right ahead. Make my day. Like, there's not much we can really do about it. We do more industrial integration. Nothing here really of importance. Cool. Uh, build up some more military factories because we're going to need it. And then build two more of these. There we go. Okay, so we're getting our infantry on the line. That's nice. Did we actually win here, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Artillery-wise, doing okay. We're doing a lot better on armored cars, though. And we got to beat up the Japanese, who... I don't know why they decided to go to war with us, but whatever. Oh, Sep Dietrich. Oh, who wants to take over? China? Yeah, no. Uh, we're going to ban Romania just for a little bit first. Because then these guys can take over more territory, so we don't have to deal with that. We're making a bigger army. That'll be good. Some better radar. That'll be good. This has turned into one gigantic mess. But if they're not super strong, can we actually win on this front? We, we'll definitely be able to win on this front some places. Germany, we liked you. We liked you, but you went to war with us. Why? That's a buttload of manpower. Holy crap. Two million? Up to... F I d no, there's no way they have up to five or four million. There's no way. They got a buttload of divisions, though. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. Go to war with the Benelux now, Germany. Yes. Yes. Yes, they went to war with the Netherlands and Belgium. 
and hungry. Okay, then hungry. Yes, go to war with them. This hopefully will guarantee us victory, which means the Allies are going to have a foothold in Europe, which is not going to be good. Oh, no. Yes, go to war with Belgium. Yes, 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 yes. Luxembourg is gone, which is to be expected. Luxembourg, Luxembourg. I'll get some cavalry. That would probably be good to do. We probably can't afford anything else. Support equipment, that's not bad. We'll have plenty enough. Motorized. Actually, we got plenty of motorized. Could it be better to do motorized, maybe? We'll have enough. And we'll have enough in here, too. Go and do that. We already motorized it there, which is good. Uh, suppression. At this point, I'm going to make you guys even better. Since we have enough army XP. Uh, let's see. 40s. That's going to be nice. Good, good, good. Infantry. We could do elite infantry, but we're not going to do that. Anti-air. No, we're good with anti-air. Uh, that's fine. Uh, artillery. There we go. Now, this is not going to be bad. You guys, where are you at? I'm going to go ahead and just convert you since some of you guys are already out of experience. If we can move fast enough, this won't be a problem. Turkey's actually doing really well, really, really well as well. It probably helps that America is not in the war as well, so... Ground support, air superiority, we might as well since we have enough manpower for now. Oh, the Spanish Empire's coming back too, that's not good. But as long as Germany's distracted, I think we'll do okay. Especially since we have some of our divisions... Oh crap, that's not good. Have a lot of uh, artillery in them now. If that's the case, going lower by to five. Getting more planes, getting more some Union takes too, which is good. Uh, lower, raise that up again, go up by another 10. <sighs> Armored cars are doing okay. Oh my goodness, this is just nuts. Good, Belgium is a mess. And they're slowly taking over this area. That's fine. That's, that's all that matters is we kill these guys off. You, take, you can probably capitulate Germany before anything else really happens, but oh my goodness. Germany, you're abandoning the line. I love it, love it, love it. Keep, keep it up. Where are you guys at? Oh, you guys gotta hurry up down here. Actually, we have enough division to help guard this area of the line. Oh, the Chinese are coming in. Oh, Chinese, you cannot. Yeah, keep keep up the pressure here. This is this has been a weird episode. I swear to God, like last episode was weird where Russia joined the Allies, but this episode's been weird when we have to fight the Axis as well. Like, what type of universe is this? Uh, let's go ahead and do rain, hellfire, land. What uh, land doctrine are we on? Air, land doctrine, air doctrine, operational integrity. There we go. So why narrow the scope of our Air Force and limit its op options? We should heavily rely, rely upon tactical bombers that are capable of hitting many different types of productions or operations, from close air support to strategic bombing. Their diverse nature will offset the hindrance of our small and limited military industrial complex. Cool. Very cool. Yep. You know what? If the Chinese show up, great. Love it. Love it when the Chinese show up. Um... Where are our extra ships? Oh! They probably died. Oh crap. I don't remember seeing anything that we lost a ship, but okay, I guess we, they must have lost. That's unfortunate. That's really quite unfortunate. Go up, throw all these divisions on there. Awesome. Are we out of artillery? Yes, we are. That's not good. We have plenty of armored cars, though. That's pretty good. Uh, increases by five more, decreases by five. Immediately give it to them. We've got plenty of artillery, field hospital threes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Grab some more military police. Yeah, we're doing okay. Get some more recon. Yeah, why not? Almost done with advanced fire bases, as well as atomic research. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you guys keep pushing this way. You keep pushing this way. This has been such a mess. I swear to God, man. All right, and here we go. Improve over processing. Get even what? Better guns. Yeah. Nice. And up here, you get even better guns. Because right now, we got to do this. So, duplicate coasts. Get pretty low for that. I'm going to keep them 20 coming with. I'll replace this with actual just recon like that. This stuff is okay. It's going to cost us quite a bit to do it like this, but that's okay with me. We're going to make these guys maybe 10 combat with, though. Let's see, coast guards. We're going to need a lot of these guys. Uh, put them on high for now, because we're going to need a lot of Coast Guards. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we're, we're spreading through here pretty nicely. Germany, we're fighting a two-front war. They're, they're fighting like a three- or four-front war. So, I'm not sure what happened. They broke through France, then they go to war with us. 
And then we're like, okay. But they're still fighting in Iberia. And technically down there as well, which is good in Italy. But I don't know, man. I really don't know. Get some better artillery. That'd be great, though. You guys are doing great. Uh, I doubt we'll be able to capitulate Germany by the end of this. Oh, they're doing well against the Belgians now. Keep an eye on this. Artillery's looking pretty bad. That's fine. We got plenty of guns, though. Mechanized is not looking bad, either. Hmm. Give us some mechanized in here, then. That should make them a little harder to kill. Yeah, we got plenty enough mechanized for now. Awesome. We got a lot of red, but I can't I can't imagine Germany could really keep this up for too long. I'm surprised we haven't capitulated completely over here, but you know what? That's fine with me. Let the Germans and them mess each other up. We've lost 90,000 against them. We're fighting the Allies, and the Dutch East Indies are kind of on our side, sort of. The Reich, we've killed off a quarter million of them. Japanese Shogunate, man. I swear to God. A historical AI is just kind of crazy. Just a little crazy. I'm probably going to make a German puppet, too, just because I think that'd be pretty good. And we're fighting them, too, of course. Oh, we got Vienna. Look at that. Right? We got Vienna. That's Graz. Um, Vienna. Yeah, we do have Vienna. That's nice. Oh, do we have another ship? Yes, we do. Good. Please don't lose your ships, though. Doing okay. Thank you. I'm so... I mean, having China here was just awesome. I love China now. Part of the Black Sea Alliance. Ooh, now we're not doing so great. Ooh, that is not good. Any more XP? No. Keep it up, though. With Germans... With us, with us putting us putting this much pressure on the Germans, we should be doing okay. And we don't really have time to wait, because these guys are... Sweden? Hold on. Are we fighting the Allies? You... What? No, I'm not really sure what's going on anymore, to be honest with you. Oh, but if we can get to Berlin, that'd be so good, though. Thank God for China. Oh, we're even breaking into Croatia where we're fighting Japanese soldiers. Okay, then. Something different every day. Something just a little bit different. Good, good, good. Wow, look at that tank division. Oh, my goodness. So weak. So good to see it like that. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. This has been an episode. This has been a real episode. Wow. Ten more. Lower by ten. Flexible bomber designs. And then we shall do aerial warfare thought. The town of Zeppelins and air wings consisting of only a few planes of long distance pants. Developing doctrines for pilots to follow is just as important as those made for Army Navy. To rule the skies, their pilots must not only be skilled, they must also be effective and tactical. Or at least have tacticians. Light tanks looking real great. If that's the case, over here... Oh, we should really get Richie probably to... Get one mechanized for now. Throw on some motorized as well. There you go. Hey, oh, that's not good. Belgium is gone. Uh, anything here? Not really. Good. Hold on, Netherlands. We're putting as much pressure as we possibly can on Germany. There's nothing else that we can do here. America wants to help us out. Isn't America in the Allies? All right, our attacks are just kind of being feeble at this point. Do this, and we'll start the next episode. Go and hold for everyone, not dying on the line, and making encirclements. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it's not as long as I'd like it to be, but whatever. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we can beat the Germans and not get invaded from the Allies. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.